Hi. Uh, today's speech is about the fact that they found evidence of a tectonic plate system on Europa, uh, which is one of Jupiter's many moons. Uh, this new evidence has some staggering implications uh, re regards to the question of life on other planets. In order to understand the impact of discovering a plate <clears throat> tectonic system on Europa, uh, it's essential that you have an understanding of Earth's plate tectonic system. Um, for centuries, people believed that hell was at the center of the Earth, a fiery furnace inhabited by demons. Uh, well, there are no demons, although there is basically a fiery furnace, so to speak. The Earth's uh, core is a solid ball of iron and nickel uh, with a pressure so high that it never melts, uh, despite heat of excessive uh, 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit. On the outer core, under less pressure, is a molten material, uh, magma, basically liquid rock. Um, above the outer core is a deep layer of hot, slowly flowing rocks, which is the mantle. And above the mantle is the surface of the Earth. Um, the Earth's surface is where all the tectonic plate activity takes place. The Earth's surface is cracked and brittle, basically like an eggshell, and it creates like a jigsaw puzzle effect. Um, the large jigsaw puzzle-like plates are constantly moving, albeit ever so slowly. Uh, the reason that they're move me, uh, moving is due to the enormous amount of heat from the outer core's molten material acting like a large convection oven. It uh, heats from within, from within the heat rises, gets cooled from the above layers by the ocean, and continues down, moving all the plates on the Earth. Um, and actually, the science of this is all pretty basically new. Uh, it, was, it wasn't until about the 1950s that scientists were sure that the plates on the Earth were actually moving, uh, basically centimeters probably over you know, hundreds of thousands of years. Um, so it's a very slow system. Uh, there's two main types of crust on the Earth. Um, a continental crust, uh, which basically forms the continents, and then there's oceanic crust uh, found underneath the ocean floor. Um, and there are three different types of plate boundaries, uh, divergent, Convergent and transformative. Um, note again that the movement of the plates are very, very slow. Uh, they only move centimeters, you know, over many, many years, um, hundreds, even thousands of years. Uh, but over time, it does change the landscape of the Earth dramatically. Uh, when you have divergent plate boundaries, uh, the plates basically pull apart from each other. Um, that pulling apart from each other causes like rifts, uh, like you would see in the East Africa rift in Kenya and Ethiopia, and also in the Rio Grande rift in New Mexico. Uh, plates pull apart from each other, create a rift, an opening. Uh, magma sleeps, uh, seeps upward to fill the cracks when those rifts are formed, and new crust is formed. Earthquakes occur along those faults and vol volcanoes form where the magma makes its way all the way to the surface. Uh, in convergent plate boundaries, the plates push into each other. Um, the result will depend on which type of crust are pushing against each other. For instance, if you have oceanic crust pushing into continental crust, the denser, heavier oceanic crust will dive um, basically underneath the continental crust. And during that process, which is called uh, subduction, the friction of the uh, diving crust, um, along with the higher heat over the lower elevations in the magma, um, partially melts the oceanic crust, which is underneath. Um, and then that basically drills up into the surface as magma. A good example of what happens there would be Mount St. Helens, um, the eruption of that volcano 
um, in the not too distant um, past. Uh, in transformative plate boundaries, the plates slide along each other. When this occurs, you don't get volcanoes or mountains forming, but instead you get earthquakes. A good example would be the San Andreas Fault. Um, for instance, San Francisco lies on the boundary between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. Los Angeles lies south of San Francisco on the west side of the Pacific Plate. Uh, both plates are actually moving together in a northwest direction, um, but because the Pacific Plate is moving slightly faster than the North American Plate, in about 12 and a half million years, um, Los Angeles will bypass San Francisco and basically become north of San Francisco. Um, just to give you an idea of how slow things go with that, but it does change the landscape. And until now, Earth was the only planetary body in our solar system believed to produce this type of surface shifting geological activity. Experts from the University of uh, Idaho and John Hopkins University, Maryland, say Europa could be more, more Earth-like than experts imagined. Scientists have been studying Europa's icy surface, specifically wide bands, uh, which are up to 10 miles apart, uh, tens of miles apart, uh, that formed at the surface. Um, fresh icy material from the underlying shell moved into the newly created gap. They couldn't figure out what was going on with this, um, so they decided to do some more research. And what they did is basically um, they looked into the original configurations to get pictures of what the surface looked like before this disruption occurred. And they scoured over 10 years of data from uh, Galileo Orbiter for the original images. And when they looked at it, they noticed that more than 12,000 square miles of the moon's surface was missing. They investigated further, and evidence suggested the missing terrain had moved under the plates. Sound familiar? Uh, this is the type of scenario commonly seen on Earth's plate, uh, plate tectonic boundaries. Um, a plate tectonic system on Europa has significant Im implications for its potential as a habitable world. Scientists for years have been excited about Europa's being one of our solar system's best bets for a potentially inhabited world as it was. Um, they had already discovered with NASA's 1989 launch of Galileo Orbiter that Europa had ice encrusted oceans of salt water as well as icy geysers and minerals associated with organic materials. This new evidence of a plate tectonic system on Europa implies a two-way communication between the exterior and interior of the planetary body's surface. Um, this would be a way to move material from the surface to the subsurface. Plate tectonics would allow surface materials, minerals and materials to push their way through the seemingly impenetrable shield of ice that encloses the moon's subsurface oceans and vice versa. This meshing between the surface and water increases the, the uh, likelihood that Europa could have subsurface micro environments that harbor life. Um, I would like to thank everyone for listening today and if you have any questions feel free to email me, uh, contact me, comment or whatever and I'll do my best to answer any of your questions. Alright, thanks a lot. Have a good night.